Hey guys, it's Caroline and today I have a video for you. So the past few days I've been making my own jump cups, jump poles, and standards. Um, they're all DIY, it's been super easy. It was pretty fun. My dad helped me cut a few things and just instructed me a little bit. But overall, um, I did most of it on my own and it was just, it was pretty fun. They turned out really good. I'm actually pretty happy with how they turned out. They're actually for my dogs yeah. because I don't have a barn in my house, I ride somewhere else. But my dogs um, enjoy jumping too. And that will be an upcoming video, so subscribe for more and comment any video ideas that you have for me down below. And if you haven't yet, go follow my Instagram. I'm almost at 200 followers. I post a few times a week there and you get to hear more about my life and just like course updates and stuff like that. So if you haven't, go do that and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So the materials that you will need are one 8 foot long 4x4, this one's pressure treated because it's the only thing that they had at the store, but this is for the jump standard. Next you'll need a plank that's 8 foot long and a 2x4, and this is for the bottom of the standards. Next, you'll need a plumbing yeah. pipe that's 10 feet or however long you want it to be. And this one is one and a half inches around. Next, you'll need some outdoor paint. I got two different colors, a hunter green and a white, and they're both quart size. And then I got some brushes, and they're both two inches. Next, you'll need some rope, at least 50 inches, and some wood scraps. And the wood scraps will be with the wood that we already have. Then you'll need four nails that are each six inches long. So first, I started out by measuring the plank, and mine was not exactly eight feet long because I found it in my garage. So I found out how long each segment needed to be, and there should be eight because each standard should have four on the bottom. So I measured all of those out. Next, I measured the four by four, and this only has to be in two segments. So I just made one line down the middle, each four, and four feet long. And then I measured out three inch segments, which is where the holes for the like the cups are gonna be. Next, I measured the pipe, and this was exactly 10 feet. And then I cut it right down the middle. So we started out by cutting the plank and on all the lines that are marked. And you wanna be super careful with the saw. So I had my dad do it and we had eight segments. Then we cut the pressure treated wood right down the middle. And then we cut the pipe, again, right down the middle. So next, this is optional, but we are cutting off the ends of the plank. So we cut off a triangle on the end, and then we cut off uh, an inch and a half down the side of it.
and this triangle tool really helps so I would recommend that. And after you're done, your lines should look something like that. So first we cut off the end, which was an inch and a half, on all eight. And save these for later because we will be using them. Then we cut off the triangle on the tip. So they should look like this. So then we mark where we were going to drill them in. Then we pre-drilled them. And then we drilled about half the screw in so it'd be easier when we were actually drilling them into the pressure treated wood. You have to make sure it's super lined up so that your standards aren't wobbly. But, we drilled them in, and they should look something like this when they're lined up. So here are the wood scraps from earlier, and what we did was just cut them right down the middle. You will need four of them, cut them all in half, and then drill holes through the center of them. And then take your rope and string it through, and tie a knot around one side of the nail so that it won't slip off. And then I sealed the, all the edges with the lighter. And then I made a slip knot around one the other end of the nail. You'll see when I show it later. So we took this screwdriver next. So now I'm just drilling holes in all the holes and the marks that I made earlier. It does take a while because it takes a long time to get through the wood. Then I flipped it over, both of them, and just drilled through the other side to make sure that I could fully get the cups through when it was time to. And you want your holes to be a little bit bigger than the nails, so it's easy to get through. Here's what this looked like. And then this is what your cups should look like. And I made four of them. So the thing is fully built and all it's left to do is paint it.
For these, I was just kind of messy with it, but I painted the best that I could so that they were almost fully white. And we didn't have some painter's tape at the time, so I started to paint the poles, and I did a pattern that was 10 inches, and then 15, and then 20 in the middle, and then another 15, and then another 10. You'll see what I mean later. And my mom helped me when we painted the standards. With this paint, you could only do one coat, but I did two. It was just more glossy and it also is weather protectant. And then I painted the whole entire bottom white, including the very bottom because it makes it more weather protectant. So this is what it looks like. And you can see what I did with the poles, with the pattern of 10, 15, 20, 15, and then 10. And I also did some stripes at the top. They're pretty messy, but I actually really like how it turned out. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please comment any video ideas that you want to see. And I hope you enjoyed it and that this helped you and inspired you to do some of your own jumps.